Welcome to the Cotswolds. Welcome to the Cotswolds. <laughs> sure. Cotswolds trip, my first time staying overnight in this part of England, and it's been amazing. So I'm doing this a little out of order because I want to explain what we're doing here. We just had my sisters in town for a very fun-filled, action-packed weekend in London. And my mom has stayed and is behind the camera, and we have just wrapped up a couple days in the Cotswold. We stayed here at Manor House which is amazing. Like every detail has been perfect. There's a little snow falling right now, but the day we got here, which you're about to see, was the most snow globey, beautiful snowfall. And we've had so much fun exploring. And uh, I'm, I'm relieved personally, because at the end of the vlog, you'll see I get terribly, terribly lost. Um, I, there were tears shed, followed by croissants and coffee. So now my mood is very much up, but it's been the best time. And I can't recommend coming here enough if you take a train from London. It's about an hour from Paddington Station and we've just had the best time. So now pop back in, back in time, and you'll see us heading here to the beautiful Cotswolds. Come on, Mama. Where are we going? It's a holiday. Beautiful Paddington Station. Going right here, honey. Okay, just checked in, and this is the most beautiful room. This feels so authentic and old fashioned and just like perfectly preserved. This is amazing. They've given Wolfie a little King Lion stuffy. There's some champagne for us. That was a nice touch. And I think this is so cool up here. There's like a little step up to this cozy desk. Get your makeup on right here. This is just like so idyllic. Wow. The snow has stopped. It was really coming down. And then the bathrooms. Awesome. <laughs> he said toilet. Look at this huge bathroom. That's called a bidet. <laughs> you actually might benefit from that. Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, I think we're going to move Wolfie's bed up here. So it's really dark and quiet. Love the room. There's my little coat. There's your yellow coat. Here it is. Here it is. Here's your yellow coat. We are getting ready for our pub dinner. And... In classic me fashion, I basically keep on the same outfit and switch out jackets, switch out accessories, hair, and I feel like a new woman. We all napped. We took like a two hour nap, which again, I don't know what I did before kids not napping because that's the best thing in the world. So quick freshen up. This jacket is old from Banana Republic and I love it so much. Like the shape of it, so feminine and kind of classic and old fashioned. Love it. Big velvet bow. I think I got that on Amazon and ready to go. I don't know what we would do if he's not a scootering kid because we have taken that scooter just about everywhere and on vacations it's so easy it fits in the bottom of a suitcase we bring it everywhere and we didn't even bring a stroller on this whole trip which is actually pretty amazing 
And he's good to walk around, but this gets him where he needs to go much faster. So, big advocate of the scooter life. Okay, I don't think I've said the hotel's name where we're staying. Uh, it's called The Manor, and it's so beautiful in Chippenham. That's the train station that we got off at, about an hour outside of London. So, it couldn't be easier to get to for us. Uh, we'll feel so good on the train, too. And it's just a lovely old manor home in the Cotswolds. I actually need to do a little digging up of the history. So, let me, uh, let me just get into that. Warm water for wolves and wellies for guest use only. If that's not the cutest thing I've ever seen and the most British thing I've ever seen. We are walking down our street right now. If we're gonna call it a street. They actually said it was called Cottage Row. We're staying in that one right over there. It's called The Grove. And here's the little row of cottages. There's a steeple right there in the church, kind of tough to see. But the reason we love that name so much is because the street my parents live on in Wisconsin is called Cottage Row. And we both kind of looked at each other like, that was so kismet. So, I mean, this is just so magical at night too. We're putting together our plan for tomorrow and really hoping that we can go into Bath. If you're familiar with England, you've probably heard of Bath. It's about 25 minutes from here. So we have, we have some plans to talk about at dinner. No, that truck went away. Apart from that one pub there, and the pub we're going to here, there's not much in this little town, which is just the cutest thing ever. So we're going to the Castle Inn. I just have to get my eyes on this old Defender, because this is a dream car for me and Sam. Someday. Maybe like a 50th birthday present? I don't know. I hope they're not inside looking at me. Cheers, 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 cheers. What are we doing? We're on a date. We're on a yes. holiday date. A holiday date. Cheers, Cheers. Danny. Love you. Love you. Oh, uh -huh. Cold snowy night. Oh. Oh, Wolfie, what are your monster trucks talking about? The Packers! They're talking about the Packers? What are they saying? Go Packers! <laughs> On Bears Week. Very nice. Okay, good morning. This me. No, don't take it. Yeah, it's my makeup. It's my makeup. Okay. And we don't touch it, please. And this is hot. Wolfie, this is hot. Remember, we all slept so nice last night. Wolfie slept through the night in his little teeny tiny cot in his little bathroom. So we're relieved for that. Um, so it's just nice to wake up feeling like everyone got their full night of sleep. And today we have a big day. We're super excited to head into Bath, which is about a 25 minute drive. Um, and Bath's amazing. Sam and I actually went when we first got to London two years ago, Wolfie is a little babe. I wore him in a front pack. He was so tiny. And we just did like a half day trip with a tour group of all things. Um, and mom, you know we're near Stonehenge. Yeah. Because this was a trip with an added on visit to Stonehenge. So good memories of this place. It's, um, it's such a cool city because it feels very Italian because the Romans came and wanted to make like a little Rome in England and the architecture is amazing. There's like all these aqueducts and um, the reason they settled there is because these hot springs made these amazing spas, like these baths. In fact, the city's called Bath Spa. Um, so it's just really unique. You don't feel like you're in England at all. So we're gonna go spend a good bit of our morning there, which I'm looking forward to. Um, off to have a little bit of breakfast before we go. It's not snowing today, so a little bit easier to Get around and I'm trying to tan up my face. Let's see. But we're loving the hotel. We loved our dinner last night. Um, we have dinner there again tonight because they have a Michelin star restaurant. I, I believe it's a Michelin star restaurant called Bybrook. And then they have a pub. And because we have Wolfie, they don't allow children under 12 at the fancy restaurant. So back to the pub for us tonight, which is just fine. The food was amazing. So we're loving this place. You're doing like a trip to the UK and if you want to do a little bit of London and 
do some Cotswolds, which I feel like everyone wants to come out and see the country. This is a perfect place to do it because it's very close, not only to London, but I'm pretty sure it'd be 30, 45 minutes from Heathrow. So also really good to bring a family. Good walking, the village is really cute, and then you're near Bath if you want a little bit more action. Good job on your break. Here the lights up on the outdoor tree. It's a pipe. Okay, we just took a taxi about twenty. Minutes, right into Bath City Center. There's the Abbey. So beautiful. This is right in the middle and I believe I see some Christmas market things over there. Big river and stadium. It's just gorgeous and some great shopping. So we're gonna have a look about. Yeah, it's going to this way. Hey, it is the late afternoon, but it's not late enough. We just went back to the pub where we're having dinner tonight, where we had dinner last night, and we're all hungry, and Wolfie's kind of getting grumpy and hungry and didn't nap well, so we asked if we could sit down early, and they said they're not open yet. So we are walking around with a mulled wine, keeping our bones warm and spirits high, and enjoying kind of this beautiful twilight because it's really great for some pictures that we didn't get to take yesterday. So. We've just been walking and exploring the ground. So much fun today in Bath. Loved Bath. Um, I got this new hat from Hicks and Brown, which I'm super excited about. Um, I've bought so many wool fedoras during my time in London and England, but uh, they've always been kind of cheap ones from little roadside places in Notting Hill. And this is like a quality one. So now I just have to protect it and baby it. Look at this backdrop. Like, and do you hear that sound? That is the babbling brook. This is just so idyllic. Every area we turn on just feels like it's in the movie, The Holiday. And now our lighting's great too. Here's the church. Don't be scared. You're scared of maybe a car coming? Are you scared of a car coming? We're gonna go play in the main house. Hmm. I wish you'd make a noise. Oh, oh wait, I heard something. <laughs> heard something. I'm just going to sit down by this tree. There you go. And just see if I can hmm. figure out where. Oh, this is a bumpy chair. <laughs> Why is it so bumpy? Oh, Wolfie! <laughs> it was you! Yeah. It was you all along. Exactly. I did it. It was a bumpy chair. I know. Chilly, chilly. 
I hear church bells. What does church bells mean? What does it mean? It means the angels are saying hello. Just a minute. I'm gonna find it. Wait just a minute. Do you know what that says? You look really close. You see? That's you. That's you. That's a baby. That's a baby. That's a baby. That's a baby. Okay. And it says Wolfie. <laughs> Maggie and David went on a holiday to a castle. Hello from the woods. This is just what the doctor ordered. My word, is this beautiful. They gave us this pamphlet of some walk options and I picked the 30 minute walk. I wanted some alone time, I wanted some fresh air, I wanted some quiet, a bit of exercise. But this is a very lonely walk. This is really isolated. Kind of relieved to hear a plane actually in case I needed to be life lighted way up in the woods, super, super muddy. I'm not wearing the right boots for that at all. I'm wearing just like my normal black leather boots. Um, I should have put on wellies, such wrong footwear. About halfway through, I think, and it comes way up high on the ridge and I could see down to the manor house, which was amazing. I do hear cars, so <laughs> can't be that isolated, but wow, is this just so nice. I'm so grateful for this time. We're actually moving our train up a little bit today because Wolfie didn't nap yesterday and I just want to get him home in his bed for a proper nap today. Um, it's funny the things that I used to be like the most uh, vacation extender and now I'm like mm, I'd really like him to take a good nap. So that's more of a priority. So I'm going to finish up this walk. We're going to have our breakfast and sadly be on our way which it, it is sad because I've just loved it here so much. Wrong footwear, but a lot of a lot of determination in my heart and a great little map. But oh, it's just gorgeous because the leaves are so lit up. Of course, you can't see here; it looks so barren. But well, not there either. There's a little yellow. The trees have been very lit up. Um, I've seen a lot of orange and yellows except apparently right here at this location. And I do really appreciate the time to clear my head a little bit. We've been on this trip, we have gotten some very good news, but uh, news that stresses me out a bit. It's that Sam has now been extended by this team that he signed with in Barcelona for the rest of the season. If you remember, he had signed for a month as like a fill-in. They were down some players due to injury and they asked him to come over, so he was loaned out by the Lions. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go back to the last vlog, but um, he played two games for them. He was great, of course. You know, no one supports you and believes in you more than your family, but I'm like, what do you think? Of course he was great. He's a great basketball player. <laughs> and um, now they're like, oh yeah, we want him. In fact, I think multiple teams took notice. Um, so this is fabulous. This means for the rest of the year, we are moving to Barcelona. I'm thrilled. I love Barcelona. We literally went there on our honeymoon. Like we love Spain. Um, the Spanish league is such a good one, yada, yada, yada. I've talked about this a long time. Spain's always kind of a goal in the basketball world. Um, and Sam's never played there, so this is huge. I'm so proud of him, so excited for him. Um, this just means now we have to get out of our London apartment, make a bunch of moves, all with the risk that we might be back next year. It's all still very confusing. Um, and then of course there's my job as a part of it. And that we know no one in Spain. We don't have a sitter. We don't have like friends. We don't have anything. We're in London. We kind of have a life set up. Um, 
The reason I'm stressed is because I have one more work assignment with Sky Sports when I get back in studio. I want to really feel confident and um, proud of that performance and feel like I gave it my full attention. But now the week of that, I will be alone with Wolfie in London while Sam's still in Barcelona and moving us. So like single momming, prepping for work, and a move? No thank you. <laughs> so I'm just just feeling a little anxious, um, to be honest. And my poor husband also is feeling anxious because he feels so helpless. And he also feels so guilty of another thing for his career's moving us, which um, makes me sad he feels guilty. And then I feel sad that I'm sad. <laughs> and it's just, oh, I am so happy to be alone in these woods right now. A part of me feels like when we get back to London, it's like uh, heat check, reality check. Um, got a lot of work in front of me. And just wanting to make sure that everyone's happy, that my husband's happy, that Wolfie is good in this transition, um, and that I deliver on my work, um, which is obviously so important to me. So uh, it's funny, we've gotten this news while we've been here, and now it's kind of consumed my thoughts. Um, I just wish I had a, I said to my mom, I wish I had a big legal pad of paper and could just start making lists, because that is how I handle challenges. I write it out, I list what needs to be done, and I figure it out. And it's just one thing at a time, and whether that's staying up really late to do it, getting up really early, like, we can do hard things. And I love that phrase. I think Glennon Doyle is the one who always says that. We can do hard things, and this will be hard. No one likes to move, my God, let alone alone and internationally and with no family or help around. <laughs> For now, I will enjoy this gorgeous view of this ridge in my beloved England that I've called home the last couple years and really thought we would for a long time. And maybe we'll be back. I'm sure I'll be back for my NFL work with Sky, but as a family and as a unit, it looks like maybe our time is up in England, which I like can hardly say without crying. What a, what a way to like have this conversation too. My word, do you hear like bird song in a babbling brook? Excited about Spain, very stressed about the A to B. Um, so we will figure that out, but that's, that's the news. And that's why I just needed to clear my head a little bit and get on this walk and, uh, Get, get in nature a little bit. I uh, need a little resetting and cozying in and uh, great staff, super fun. Just like we've really enjoyed these last two days. So thanks for coming along for the ride. I guess the next vlog, <laughs> as if I'm gonna have time to vlog after this. I don't even know when I'm gonna edit this. It's called move. Something tells me I'm gonna have like a glass of wine and tears in the next vlog. <laughs> but for now, I will leave you with this stunning view of my walk in the woods. Bye. And why did he just stare me down like that? No, he really is beautiful, but it's kind of disorienting when you're walking alone in the woods, have seen zero life until that massive mammal. Okay, I'll be on my way. I keep thinking the vlog is over, but now I'm coming upon some animals. <laughs> I think they're mostly mules. Especially those guys, they're very close to me and I'm sure so friendly and I don't even think they could hurt me, I don't think, but it's just, something about this is just kind of freaky. They're very beautiful. They've all kind of rushed up to this gate, which is barbed wire. I don't think they're crossing this, but I think nonetheless, I'll just be on my way. Okay. I don't even think I'm on the right path. Bye guys. Oh my god, I actually did think this vlog was over until I got terribly, terribly lost. I've never been happier to see a road. I lost the footpath. I was in the middle of a field. I found one house, like a farm, and it said violators will be shot. So I'm like, not asking them. Um, oh my god, was that scary. But now I'm in the most lovely area. There's sheep up on that hill. This beautiful home. Another beautiful defender. Okay, things are looking up. I'd be lying if I said I didn't end up crying alone in a field in the Cotswolds.
also not to be dramatic, but at the farm that had uh, you will be shot signs everywhere, they had a sheep dog that was literally there to herd their sheep. And he snuck out of his gate, out of his fence, came right up to me. And I was like, oh my God, is he gonna like nip at me or bite me or something? That's just what I need. And he literally seemed to say, come with me. And I know that sounds crazy. I feel like he was like my little spirit guide. Like he was just looking out for me, a guardian angel telling me, go this way. And he literally got me back on the path of which I had not been able to find for a while. Oh my God, that was a lot. What a way to end this trip. Actually a pretty, pretty moving experience now that I'm reflecting on it and in safekeeping and back in our little village. Oh man, that was scary. This is gorgeous. Yes. Wow. I'm going to teach you a very important lesson. Never eat yellow snow. You do?